My name is Odonga Oto. Matthias Mpuga, Bobby Wine. Matthias Mpuga, Bobby Wine. Listen to the political philosopher. I was in parliament. At that time, we passed a law that gave benefits to the vice president. Salary for life, car, domestic workers, and renting a house. That was way back around 2002. In 2006, we amended the law and included the speaker and the deputy speaker. Their benefits. As of now, the speaker is entitled to 60% of their salaries on retirement. They are entitled to a house. They are entitled to two policemen. They are entitled to domestic workers for life. And you remember, last month they gave brand new vehicles to all the former speakers and deputy speakers. It is the law we passed. Then after that, we included the prime minister. We amended the law and included the prime minister. Now, the problem we are having now, we should have amended the law and included the leader of opposition. Because the multipartism in Uganda is just developing. So we cater for the president, for the vice president, for the chief justice, for the speaker of parliament, for the deputy speaker of parliament, but we have not catered for leader of opposition in the law. So what is happening now? The parliamentary commission is the body that determines the salary of all MPs and speakers of parliament. It is regulated by the law. So it is the parliamentary commission that decides how much money an MP should earn. So the parliamentary commission, in their own wisdom, decided that since the leader of opposition is a constitutional office, why can't we give them benefits? Now, the mistake the parliamentary commission did, they should have gone and amended the other law to include the leader of opposition to join the other list of speaker and deputy speaker. But the government will not accept. So what the parliamentary commission decided, that they will give an ex gratia, a thank you to anyone who becomes leader of opposition in the history of this country. In future, 500 million shillings. Now, Hones is speaking. How can Bobby Wine say that is corruption by Matthias Mpuga? That is cheap politics. Because the law allows the parliamentary commission to do that. The law allows the parliamentary commission to determine the salaries of MPs. The law allows the parliamentary commission to give benefits to every leader of opposition. So for anyone to say Matia Mpuga is corrupt and should resign, that person is not fair. That person does not qualify, not only to be the president of this country, but does not even qualify to be the head prefect. Because you have to check the law. So let's be fair to Matthias Mpuga. And now what is happening? We are blaming Matthias Mpuga for accepting 500 million shillings. A thank you for the job he did for two and a half years as leader of opposition. No one is blaming the Speaker of Parliament for earning 500 million shillings a month. So the, the, the NRM have already benefited. Now when the opposition should benefit because it is a constitutional office, you start blaming them. This is so cheap. So I stand with Matthias Mpuga. Bobby Wine, you need to retreat that statement. This is not how we do politics. I would even advise that the former leaders of opposition, like Professor Gayala Tigo, like Nanda Lamafabi, like Betty Aolo Chan, should be included in the law. The only problem is the parliamentary commission chose to enter through the window and not through the door. They should have amended the law to make the entitlements of the leader of opposition to be in the law. When the elujo is open. So, uh, Matthias Mpuga, walk heads high. Walk heads high. Now, the NRM, the speaker, the deputy speaker are all quiet. The opposition is fighting for the small bond. Then, how will you take over power if you behave like that? If this is the approach, we will definitely not work together. Thank you so much, but let's continue the fight against corruption. God bless you.